Today, we will show you how to use the section tool. With it, you can cut your mesh into pieces and turn them into new meshes. When working with 3D printing, it is common to run into a problem when your model is too big for the printer. In that case, printing it in separate parts is the way to go. And Mesh Inspector makes this easy. Here is our dolphin model. Let's check its dimensions by enabling the bounding box. Also, we will activate flat shading for accurate inspection. As you can see, it is larger than typical printer's box limits. So, to solve our problem, go to Inspect, then click Section. You can cut models in two ways. First, by drawing your own cut. Just click anywhere in the scene, drag in the direction you want, then release to finish. Second, by using the ready-made planes along the YZ, XZ, or XY axis. We are on the XZ plane. Let's say we want sections about 20 centimeters to fit the standard 3D printer working field. If we keep this step size, the cut will go right through the fin, which is not good for printing. Let's adjust it by dragging the number field. We will end up with a step size of 136 millimeters. Now look at cut objects. Without preparation, the mesh will be simply cut, but we want to fill the cut areas. Let's undo the result and adjust the results a bit. Then we toggle fill section and also enable recolor objects so the new pieces are easier to tell apart. Let's continue cutting starting from our new zero point still making sure the fins are safe. This gives us four meshes, all selected in the scene tree. Bounding box is automatically applied to the most recent mesh to verify it fits your printer. You can keep cutting as needed. For example, by switching to the XY plane. With a single step, we now have eight meshes. With the F4 shortcut or these arrows, you can browse through the pieces one at a time, showing only the selected one. Red zones are where we added new triangles, and blue zones are the original borders. Let's return all the objects to the scene by clicking on the eye icon. For each resulting mesh, you can create connectors to connect them with our other parts. See our separate video for that tutorial. See you in our next videos.